wife. It's not going to. Oh, this is um, this is her husband. This is her husband. There's not going to be a perfect opportunity. It's now or never, and never is not an option. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, man, says stand aside. Oh. Get out the way. I'm sorry, but I can't let Maria Maria die. I hope you understand. Zeta, you. Light and darkness. It's a disturbed and chaotic era. How poetic. Oh, she's playing on a, uh, what you call that? Uh, a flute? Oh, that's not a flute. Oh. Don't play me in the comments. That's a, uh, that's a harmonica, right? Is that not a harmonica? I don't know what that is. Whatever. It sounds like a harmonica. What's with all these birds flying around? I would have definitely smacked one of those birds if they were flying that close to me. No, sir. Yeah, y'all gonna have to get away from me. Yep, yep, fly on, yeah, fly on out of here. Okay, nice little, uh, Paradise Sunset scene. Okay, now, they're gonna explain that tower in the, uh, as we go through the adventure, people. I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit of my background and what I do know as we go through. Exceed Games. Falcom. Come on in, Falcom. Who's the man? Mellow Man. What is going on, guys? We are here with Wise 1 and 2 Chronicles. Playthrough Part 21. This is playthrough part 21, people. Without further ado, let us hop in. <laughs> For those of y'all wonder why I put emphasis on the word chronicles, I don't, I, I don't, I just get excited, people. I get excited. I get excited whenever I see the uh, opening screen for this game. I just get excited. Apologies, though, for some of y'all, for, for y'all eardrums, if that is coming off kind of loud. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of <laughs> mixed reviews about that. Last time, anyways, last time we left off, people, we had arrived at Ramia Village. We finished off what, did we, what we needed to do in um, that lava, um, the lava village place, took out the boss, and came here. So, we're going to progress along. I'm going to look into this town um, and see what's what's going on in this town. I went, did a little bit off screen, not too much. I needed a little bit more uh, gold or money in this game to get the strongest sword they had, the hyper cutter. So, I went, uh, earned up a little bit of cash, and then went and bought the hyper cutter. So, now you'll see I have the hyper cutter equipped, and then I've got um, less money now. I basically used up all my money to get it, but... That's pretty much what my money goes to in this game anyway, so um, let's progress, people. For those of you guys who are new to this series and want to get caught up to speed on what's going on with the story thus far, go back and watch some of my previous episodes from this series so that you guys can get caught up to speed on what's going on. For those of you guys who have been staying with us and all up to speed, let's progress. I'm excited for this today, people. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, by the way, and I hope you guys yourselves are doing excellent today. Positivity breeds positivity. 
Polly. I just can't relax these days. I keep thinking the demons could attack us at any moment. Okay, so we're getting similar demon vibes. It doesn't help that Karen's daughter, Mar Mariah Maria, was just abducted as a sacrifice. My fault, people. I was taking a second to, to process this. So, in this town, the demons are sacrificing people. Or people are being offered up as sacrifices. Karen's daughter. A lot of people say names as though I know who they're talking about. Alright, people. I need you to... Don't y'all just hate that? I know y'all know some people like that. People that talk to you, and they'll be having a conversation with you. And they'll just bring up some people's names like 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 they're just common people you know. Like, I don't know who you're talking about. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, anyway, just remember people, Karen and Maria. Karen's daughter, or j yeah, Karen and her daughter, Maria. Maria was set, was, and of course they bring in more names. Maria was Seda, Sada's fiance. Poor guy. I doubt he's taking it very well. And can you blame him? Okay. Well, it's... Ramia's been in a bad way lately. From time to time, demons come pouring out of the shrine, ransacking the village for another sacrifice. Just another day... Oh, just the other day, a girl named Maria was taken. And it's not just Ramia, either. The monsters have been taking sacrifices from all the villages. Oh, is that... That must be what went on in, uh... The village... Lance Village. Um, with, um, Lilia. I never want to leave the village. There are demons out there. Demons. Okay. Well, hey... <laughs> If you get abducted, you know. Okay, this must be the shrine they were talking about. Okay. Before we go up there, people. So that's obviously where we're going to have to go. Before we go up there, let's finish uh, what we need to do in the village. Man, this is a big village. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm kind of liking this bee. By all indications, the house was abandoned. There was no sign of anyone living here. A anyone living there. Abandoned home, huh? I think not. Okay, maybe so. Let me pull out my handy dandy, uh. Mirror of Illusions. Okay, never mind. I tried, people. I thought I was on to something. Alright, yeah, we can get out of here now. There's nothing in here where, yeah, we can we'll bounce. Say less. Empty, yeah, we don't need to worry about empty houses. Oh, I will take another one of those flowers, though. Never have too many items. Man, this village is huge. They got a cemetery over here. Here lies Mar Meryl, the kind and gentle. Okay, we're not going to read all those. All of these grave sites are empty. They're essentially just memorials, except for Mar Marley's, anyway. She's the only one who, who's left us earthly remains to bury. I wonder if she's lonely down there. These flowers bear her name. She always loved them. So as long as they bloom here, I think that means she's happy. Where are the flowers at? Can I get some of them? I can't collect any of the flowers? Alright. So we get out of here. Um, what do we have here? Crewberry. A red berry is shiny as a jewel. It's bitter flavor and fresh scent cure fatigue. Okay. Is that a trash can? Yeah, move this out to the center, the center of town. Daddy, where did you go? I've looked everywhere, but I can't find him. Sniffle, Daddy? Okay. Not my problem. Had its had its house. Ah, a traveling swordsman. You have the eyes of one who's seen many things, yet always desires to see more. Okay. Nothing else in here. I'll never understand that. Exceed. Why did you guys put so much detail into? Your, I can appreciate that you guys put detail into these. All the rooms you guys have in these houses, but why? Why do that if I can't really interact with them? You know. Whose house is this? Home of Blitz. 
Polly and okay. There was a girl in this village named Maria who was recently taken away by the demons. And it's not just for Mia either. The monsters have been taking sacrifices from all the villages. Maria's mother has been in a terrible a terrible state ever since it happened. She barely says a word and looks pale as a ghost. Have I already been in this house? I just can't relax these days. I keep thinking the demons could attack us at any moment. I think I have. Yeah, I've been in this house. Oh, wow. This was the first house I went into. Okay. Uh, let's see what it says on the board. Keep door firmly shut. Defense begins with you. Okay, have I talked to her? Poor Karen. Ever since her daughter Maria was taken away by the demons, she just she shut herself in her house crying. When will the goddesses grant us mercy and save us from this horrible fate? Okay, so Karen. Karen is the girl that we're looking for. Is that a goat? Y'all got goat. Y'all got goats just roaming around town. Well, what have we here? You're not from around here, are you? There's an old man who lives here named Reg, a scholar, you might say. Everyone thinks of him like family. Because of all the demons, though, he's no longer able to research the Solomon Shrine. It's got him pretty down. If you can, please pay him a visit and tell him stories of your journey. It'll brighten his spirits, I think. That's what confuses me, people. I could have sworn Solomon... Oh, what is this? Is this where I came from? I'm guessing so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what confuses me, people. They keep talking about Solomon Shrine. There must be two Solomon Shrines then. Because I know for a fact, in the first game, there was a Solomon Shrine that was located like on the ground. So now that I'm hearing this stuff about another Solomon Shrine... Okay, here's Karen and Maria. So here's the girl with the, the trouble case. Oh, here we go with this sad music again. Maria... The demons were on the hunt earlier, and they took away my daughter. She's been led away as a sacrifice. Oh no, the bell in the shrine is ringing again. The bell in the shrine is ringing again. The tolling of the bell means another sacrifice is being offered. Okay, so who's ringing the bell then? Someone was just killed, not my daughter, but her turn, but her turn may be next. Oh, Maria, why? Why did it have to be you? Man, that's unfortunate. Um, let's see if she says anything different. Maria doesn't have long to live at this rate. Oh, my baby, why? Why did it have to be you? Yeesh. Okay, steer clear of this house. Um, okay, so obviously we're going to have to go check that out. Let me check out this house right quick. Okay. Ramia Village used to be a thriving temple town, sitting in the blissful shadow of Solomon Shrine. Huh, interesting. But as you can see, that shadow has turned dark and sinister on us. Such are the whims of fate. Life sucks, <laughs> then you die. Hey, that's how some people look at it, man. Okay, I'll try to speed up my conversations with these people. Um, so that didn't take as long. Head out and sat as I'm already went through that house. Give me another crew berry. Uh, I believe I've been down here. Yep, it's just this guy. And that's as low as you can go. Okay, so we've checked out. I think we checked out all the houses. Talked with all the people. Let me see whose house is this. Blitz, Polly. Yep, I already talked with them. So, I think our last thing to do is. Yep. We need to go. And go up to the top here. Alright. Now let's talk with these people. Three days ago, my friend Maria was captured by demons and taken away for sacrifice. I wish I could go save her, but someone like me wouldn't last two minutes in there. There are always guards posted at the entrance to the shrine anyway, so I'd never get in. Not with that attitude. Okay, let's see. They got this house on the side here. Feeling his music. Whose house is this? Oh, this is Rags. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Someone scribbled below this. Ugh. <laughs> Someone scribbled below this. Ugh. I'm just an old man. My time in this world is just about up. Demons or no? If they should take me, I it'd be utmost. It'd be almost grateful. Yeesh. Rags, weren't you supposed to? Weren't you some kind of scholar person? 
I need some, uh... You don't have any information in here? No books? That's all you have to say? All my life I've been fascinated with Solomon Shrine. My purpose in life is to study artifacts from within its walls. I've never once imagined that the place that I would love could become a haven for demons. Okay, so Solomon Shrine's full of demons, just like it was on the ground. And a source for great malice. I've lost everything I care about. Okay, so this town's this town sounded kind of broken. Let's see what this dude wants. Hey, mister. I've never seen you before. What's your name? Mine's Faye. Kind of girly, I know. Hey, uh, the people call me, uh, the people around here call me A. Mr. Adol, Mr. Adol. You going off on an adventure, Mr. Adol? It can get pretty rough around here, so be careful, okay? Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna call you Faye. I'll call you F. Alright, F. Guardhouse, huh? What is this guy doing? I know that if the demons come out from the shrine again, I'll be the first one they attack. We'd love to fight back, but we just don't have the manpower for it. It might not count for much, but I'm going to stay ever vi vigilant right here and warn everyone if they come back. That's respectable. Alright, let's go to the top. What's up here? So you're... Hmm. Interesting. My name is Gordo. I hate to be a bother, but I really need to get your take on something. Can you spare a moment? Three days ago, I had a really strange dream. In it, there were these two girls who told me a red-haired swordsman would soon be arriving in the, in the village. They said they wanted me to offer him... In, they wanted me to offer him my help. And here you are. him to Solomon Shrine. Okay. I see, but even if I let you through this gate, there's still another gate beyond guarded by demons you'll need to get you'll need to get past them to get into Solomon Shrine. And as you as you'd expect, they don't take kindly to humans passing through. Let's just say I'll persuade them. Unless you can turn yourself into a monster or something, you've run up against a brick wall. It just so happens I can't do that. Gordo's expression turned solemn. There's a friend of mine, Seda. Sada? Seda? He went in recently. I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. What is this? Another flashback? Open the gate, Gordo. I'm going to rescue Maria, even if I have to take down every last demon to do so. Okay. Seda, I'm already I'm already kind of vibing with you. Seda, look, I understand your feelings. I really do. But let's not do anything rash, okay? You need to calm down and wait for the right chance. Jump in without thinking, and you'll get yourself killed. So you want me to just sit around in the vain hope that a perfect opportunity comes along? If I do that... Maria's going to die, and I'm sorry, but I just can't let that happen. I know all that. I do understand the gravity of the situation, and I feel exactly the same way you do. Then why are you standing in my way? Maria is my life. Ooh. Maria is my life. There's not going to... Oh, this is, um... This is her husband. This is her husband. There's not going to be a perfect opportunity... It's now or never, and never is not an option. Ooh. Seda. St oh. <laughs> My man says, stand aside. Ooh. Get out the way. I'm sorry, but I can't let Maria Maria die. I hope you understand. Seda, you... Make sure this, gut, this gate stays shut. I respect that. I respect that. Knowing him as well as I do, I expect he'll give the demons a run for their money. But Solomon Shrine is many times larger than this village. Great. And the layout is about as labyrinthine as it gets. <sighs> so it sounds like I'm going to have a fun time in there. 
I guess the best thing I could do to help you would be to open this gate, but I'm a little afraid to. You may be strong, but I don't think you'll be able to infiltrate the shrine without a bit of forethought. I could just do you like your homie, uh, Seda, and just push you out the way, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, and then they let the beat drop? Hold on, y'all. Listen to that beat for a second. Okay. Uh, hmm. Before you head into the shrine, you should go ask Hadat, Hadat for some assistance. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He'll be able to help you cook up a plan of attack for sure. Man, I have a plan. Attack. Shout out to Iron, or, uh, Iron Man. Shout out to the Avengers. That was quoted from uh, Iron Man in the Avengers. First and foremost, you should go and see how to... Okay, let me go see this, man. Gonna save time, we just gonna go see this, man. Uh, pretty sure this is his house. Okay, if not, it's, it's one of these bottom houses. Karen and Maria's... I forgot what his name was. Um, Hadad, Hadad. This is it right here? Yep. Is there something you needed? Yeah, I need you to let me into the... Yeah, y your boy up there is tripping, so I need to... I'm trying to get into the uh, Solomon Shrine, so I need you to go ahead and uh, tell him to let me in. What? You actually want to go into that demon-infested shrine of your own free will? Hmm, Adolf Christian, I have a favor to ask. Oh my, why does everyone always have favors to ask of me? No, I'm tired of favors. I have a son named... S oh, that's his son. So, that must be his daughter-in-law then. That's about to be... Man, this story's deep, people. But I haven't seen him for three days now. Our family is in possession of a rare sword. Ooh, an heirloom. And that sword went missing three days ago as well. Gordo says that my son Seda has gone to the shrine to rescue his fiance Maria, who was captured by the demons. If you sincerely do intend to infiltrate, infiltrate the, son, the shrine of Solomon, would you please try to find my son and bring him home? I got you. Can I get that sword, though? I see. Thank you. I'll do everything I can to aid you in this mission, starting with this. Respectable. With with this Lila shell, you can get in touch with me from anywhere in the world. Oh, okay, that's dope. If you have any problems or need any advice, please don't hesitate to use it. I regret that I won't be able to fight at your side. But you're a strong, smart fellow. You'll do just fine on your own. I'm sure I have faith in you. I respect that. All right, we got our okay. Let's move. Oh, this is that abandoned house. Whoa, was that door always open? Well, let me check this out right quick, people. Okay, still the same. It's probably gonna change when I when I uh, after I do something or progress the story. All right, let's go. Let's go where we need to go, people. Yep, all the way to the top. All right, bro, I need to get in. Oh, ho. so Hadad gave you the Lila shell, did he? In fact, he did. You can use that to bug to bug Hadad from anywhere and wise, right? Pretty handy little artifact to have on hand. All right, give me a sec. I'll open the gate. Open it up. Well, there you are. Then take care, Adol. I certainly will. I'm out of here. All right. Save the game right quick. Uh, for an item, let's equip that shell, actually. I'm sure shell given for Adol allows for long distance communication. All right, let's move. Whoa! They have shields? 
Okay, okay. Whoa, oh, they're doing big damage. I might be a little under level for this. How do I take these guys out? Hold on. Okay, let me think. I think we just need to go through. Oh, I can't go through until I defeat them? I'm doing nothing to these guys. Okay, let's load. All right, people. All right, I I am such a dummy, people. Y'all y'all can in the comments. I can I can respect if y'all put L or I can't disagree or discredit if y'all put L in the comment section. I just remembered I can turn into a demon. So obviously I'm supposed to turn into a demon and then get entrance that way rather than try to fight these guys. So I I give justification if I see L's in the comment section. This one time I, I can I can understand that. All right now. What do you want? What's that? You beat Adol and this is your proof? Adol showed his own equipment to the guards. Oh, smart. Hmm, it does match with the description we were given. All right, nice work. Go and report this at once. Do you know where Mistress Zava's room is? Who is Mistress Zava? It's on the third floor. Okay, oh great, we're going back to the floor system. Okay, so third floor of that building. Oh, what it? What is it? The one priest Mesa used to govern. Oh, wow. I don't know what it's called, but it's east from the shrine entrance. Got that? Okay, remember that, people. Remember that. Maybe now we'll finally have some place, some peace. Go on. You should report this right away. Allow me in. Okay, yep. We'll stay in our demon form. Go back to your post. Okay, they're obviously not going to say anything worthwhile to me. Um, Hadal Sector. That's crazy. Wow, people. So this is really where each of the priests used to, like, dwell. Or where they used to live. And so they've each got their own little section. That's interesting. Okay, so right now we're in Hadal Section. Oh, I can go up in here? Oh. Man, I'm just... I'm just blown back. Okay, we gotta stay focused, though. Okay, where does this take us to? Oh, this is all Hadal Sector. I'm fat because I'm lazy. Uh, I think it's the other way around, bro. Yeah, and I gotta hurry up too. This magic is not going to last forever. Okay, this is Toval's sector. Dang, so each person's got their own little section. Um, we're looking for Mesa. Uh, let me explore around a little bit. Let me let me explore around a little bit. Let me see what's in this Hadal sector first. Gotta take a look around, you know. See what you know. See what's lying around the town, the area. Oh man, yeah, it is big. It is definitely big. So many places to explore. Haven't seen you around here before. It's locked. Okay. Okay, that'll probably take me out to another area. The same thing. Okay, so these take you out to different areas. Okay. If you have no business here, then go away. Okay, relax, buddy. One side coming through. Okay, relax. All right, this should be... Okay, this is the other side of that. Okay, okay, so let's go back through here. And then, um... We can go... Let's go this way. 
Oh, my mistake. Okay, hold on. Go this way. This way. Then go down. Go down here. And now... Ah, uh, man. I feel like I'm going to get so confused in here. Okay, that's the main. So all three of those lead to the same spot. Let's go back to the bar. No time to talk. Go about your business. Watch out. Okay. Let's go back to the far side over here. And we saw an entrance. Okay. That's the entrance I think we ran into the last time, right? Or is it not? Ah, let's just check it right quick. It is. It is. It is. This is the far left side. Okay. So we can get out of here now. So we can go to the next section. Oh, I'm glad I picked up some of those flowers. Let, let me, hold on. Let me, let, let me give it a second. What do we have here? Without the password, you may not proceed. What's the password? How do you respond? Uh, Sierra. Nope, that's not it. Who are you and what are you up to? Oh, well, so I can just keep trying, right? Without the password, you may not proceed. What's the password? It's obviously Sierra. No, it's Cielo? 50-50. It's got to be Cielo. No, it's got to be Sierra. It's got to be Sierra. Oh, my gosh. All right, we'll try the default. Oh, he mixed it up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My fault. Okay, okay. Okay. They tried to mix it up a little bit. Simple. Wait, what? It had to be CLO. Viento Sierra Cielo. None of the passwords were okay. So obviously, you got to take that dude out some other some other way. Oh, this is my only path. Unless you have, it like resets every time. Let me try. Let me try this. If I leave and then come back to the place and try it now. Viento. I don't remember that word being there. You know what? Can I just... No, no, mellow man. You can't just fight this guy. Sierra Cielo Viento. Yeah, I think we just gotta fight this guy, to be honest with you. Let me change back. Yeah, we just gonna take this guy down. Hey, bro, I need to get in here. Watch out. All right, let me heal up right quick, people. All right, people. We have healed up, um, and we defeated the guy, but now I can't really progress. Can I, like, a fireball won't get me through? So you have to do, you have to beat him that way, or you have to get his riddle? I don't understand. Oh, maybe, uh, let me try using the conch. Please keep an eye out. Uh, oh, come on, bro. I need more than that. How can I break through this? Item? Yeah, there's nowhere else I can go. Okay, I obviously got to go back to the first floor then. Or the first uh, section. Those three lead me to the same place. Hold on. I already know where those three take me to. Alright, now if I go all the way down this way, okay, nothing. Let's 
Somebody's got to know that password. Well, you're certainly an odd-looking one. It takes one to know one. Okay. So if I go through here, this has got to be the far, yeah? How can I unlock this thing? It's locked. Oh, maybe he has a... What is this what is this place you ask? Why it's Lord Dregger's Dregger's Chamber. Okay, sounds like there's a boss in there. Um, let's go through here. Man, this is tough. Ah, it's you again. You're an awfully busy little chap, aren't you? Almost got almost got exposed. <sighs> Man. Unless it's maybe this first one. Nah, see that takes me right here. And then this is gonna spit me out at the other side. See, I'm about to run out of magic. Without the password, you may not proceed. What's the password? I don't understand. I've tried all three options. <sighs> There's got to be somebody I'm supposed to talk to. Kanto? What am I? Not, what am I overlooking? I feel like it's something that I'm missing something from uh, Hadal sector. There's no way like I can go through Hadal's whole sector and not get anything. Right away here, bub. Step aside. Woo! I almost got myself exposed. Okay, we got a limited amount of time now. This is just one of the entrances to the other two. Yeah, no, that's not it. Let me see. How do I get to this back area? That's where I want to get to. Oh. the back area. Let me see what this guy has to say. What's with you? You're way too close for comfort. I'm trying to find out some information. Where must I? far left side now. Oh. Oh, here's Mesa Sector. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it was on the opposite side. Okay, we gotta move fast. Let's see what's going on in Mesa Sector. Now, he said uh, something about to the east. Okay. So let's get to the bottom. Oh my gosh, this place is a maze. This area belongs to Mr. Zava. Mr. Zava, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, what what do we have here? I bet that's exactly where she is. Yeah, I need I need to get access. What are you doing in Mr. Zava's Mr. Zava's precinct? I'm trying to get inside. Move. Is this her? This is Mr. Zava's bedroom. Where's she at? What? You have something to report to her? She's actually out at the moment. She's in the northern reception hall. Northern reception. So to the north. Okay. 
They're currently in conference discussing a plan to get rid of the intruder. How do they know there's an intruder? I haven't even... Okay. Uh, what we're going to do, people, I'm running a little low on magic. So... Adol's a pretty wussy, a pretty wussy name, don't you think? Uh, I'm going to... Here, hold on. I need to find a private area first, people. Hold on. Am I alone up here? Okay, what we're going to do, people, I'm going to change right quick. Uh, oh, he said she was in the northern section. She was in the northern section. So if we keep going north, we're bound to run into her. Or that area, anyway. Man, this place is big. Adol's a pretty... Okay. That, okay, I remember coming from here. Oh, watch out. Okay, these are both the same entrances. Okay. Let's check out one of these. Right, let's see. Okay, so I can go down there. Or I can go in here. Let's go in here first. Oh, perfect. Okay, so just a room. Alright, now let's see what's up in here. Go down these stairs. What did that just take me to? Like a lower level or something? Okay, yeah, it just basically took me down. Okay, okay, it took me downstairs. Okay. Um, so if I go this way now, what's up in here? What do we have here? Probably some money. Okay, gold is good. Gold is... It's cool. But what we need is okay. What do we have here? What is this thing? Are you lost? Nah, I'm not lost. The demons around here are real brutes. A small fellow like you should probably get out while they're getting good. Okay, so I can't cross. Okay, so I can't cross here. I need to get to the other side. I've checked out everything over here. So let's go back the way I came. Get inside here. Go upstairs. Yeah. And now we can pop out. Let's pop out here. Okay. Now if we go to the far this side. Oh, we start going over into Mesa Sector if we keep going. Okay, so that transitions to... Okay. So right here, this is Gemma's. This is the separation between Mesa and Gemma Sector. Okay. We want to stay Mesa Sector for now. Th this area belongs to Mr. Zava. Okay. Got it. That was the room I first came into. Uh, let's see. How do I get back to the ground? Oh, you know what? I need to go here and go through these stairs. Yeah, I want to get back to the ground. Okay. Wait, oh no, that was supposed to take me to the... Okay, hold on. That'll take me to the ground floor. Now that I'm on the ground level, let's go as far as we can. Oh, but this is as far as you can go this way. Okay, so I think we are supposed to go to Gemma's section, people. I think we are supposed to go to Gemma's. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. okay. So let's go and do that right quick. Upstairs. Yeah, let's let's cross over into Gemma's section. Cause I feel like we've we've done everything we can do here. I would say so. Uh this way. And we can cross over. Yep. Alright, so let's see what Gemma Sector has to offer. Why 
Why didn't I see this before? Oh, this was always here, connecting the two? Okay. What a shame on me for not noticing that. Okay. If I go down now, this is where I came from. Let's see what's up these stairs. What do you want? Look, I'm busy. Come back later. You're busy what? Running into the wall? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Okay. This must be where they're at. She said, she said, somebody said northern. I'm going as far north as I can. Unless it's this place right here on the ground. Uh, let me see what lies in here first. Nothing? Okay. Oh, there's no enemies in here, too? Oh, this is a perfect place for me to... Man, if I wanted to change up or something, this would be the place to do it. Uh, but what I can do is, um, yeah, we're going to need another one of the fruit. Oh, man. This is time consuming. Why do we all need separate passes? Okay. Yeah, let's see what lies in here. Okay, this just takes me to another path. Okay. Where does this one go? Okay, this takes me downstairs. doing get back to your post what you doing get back to your post at once okay relax okay so I'm on the bottom floor now um, I want to stay on the bottom because I want to get to uh, how do I get over to we're good we're good we're good Okay, I've been in those, these two entrances before, so... This place is such a hassle to navigate. Okay, this is the other side. Okay, okay, okay. What do we have here? Who's this dude? What's that? A report for Mr. Zava? I'm afraid she's attending a conference in the Northern Reception Hall. An urgent matter regarding Adol, you say? Very well, very well then. I'll issue you a pass to get you through security. Oh, perfect. He is priority one right now, after all, so any information you can provide will, will, will be welcome. Anything to nip this problem in the bud, you know? I'll take that. All right. Now that we've got our pass, we just gotta find that that route that'll take us all the way up to the northern side. And I think I know how to get there. Should be some stairs here. Now we need to take this and go upstairs. We this is the path that I'm trying to get on, people. I think that's the path I'm trying to get on. Maybe it's this one here. Let me see. I'm trying to get to right here. I'm trying to get to right here. So to get there, I need to get... I need to be on this side. I think I found the... Ah, oh, man. So close. Oh, I think I we have found our route. Yes, sir. All right, go on in. But when you're done, get back to your post, pronto. I'm in here. Whoa, fact sector. What is this dude doing? They say that Adol Fellow's hair is red because of all the demon blood, and that his armor is stained in it too. That's what that's one that's what one of our own's last words were anyway. After Adol gave him a mortal wound. 
It's not worth talking to you all. Where is this person at? Supposedly Adol's vanished. If you see him, you're to report him immediately. Ah, these people need to move out the way. It's so big. Oh, I remember those all too well. The meetings here tend to take forever these days. Okay. Oh, this must be it right here. Yep, that's got to be it. All right, people, let's face our destiny. Ate all her voices, but they were too faint to make out. And it's just for that reason that we have these. When these earrings are worn, they amplify nearby sounds, allowing for, okay, obviously, use the earrings. Fear me, Blockar. Who is that? The intended sacrifices have escaped. That by itself wouldn't be such a problem, but they also got away with the shrine key. Okay. If Adol should get his hands on it, there's no telling how much trouble he caused. A shrine key, huh? Okay, there's Zava. They've been quiet since their escape, too. No sign of their presence that we've been able to detect. The entire shrine has been placed on high alert so that we may capture this red-haired swordsman. One, mi one misstep on his part and we will have him. Even if he makes it to a different sector, he won't get, he won't get far without knowing our password. Micah. Okay, got it. M okay, remember that, people. Micah. M-I-I-K-A. Yep, as long as we as long as we keep that to ourselves, we can't he can't possibly get anywhere important. Now, about those countermeasures. Can I listen in some more? Even if he makes it to a different sector, he won't get Okay, so they're just saying the same thing. Okay. All right, we're out of here. What's on the agenda for today? What do you what do you guys have to say? There's a meeting in progress, so keep your speaking down. Alright. Um, I think that's all we need. So they're meeting up in Dark Factor sector. Interesting. Now what happens if I go further up? Okay, I'm about to get out of here in one second, people. Let me just uh let me just uh see what we've got here. What's with all these rooms? The Ring of Ease. Let's see what this is talking. That's talking. When worn, it calms the soul and soothes away one's trouble. Okay, what does that equate to? Have consumption on magic power. Ooh. Yeah, let's equip that right away, actually. That's actually excellent. Excellent. Excellent pickup. Okay, so that just took me all the way around there. Okay, perfect. Um, this is, yep, this is where I came from. So let's see if I go this opposite way right quick. Uh, what lies down this way? This is all dark back sector. What do we have here? Okay, this will take me downstairs. It's locked. All oh, these locked rooms. Okay. Every time there's a meeting in the conference room, it goes on forever. Okay. Yep, put it down here. Put it down there. Alright, so we can go back through here now. Supposedly, eight all oh my gosh, I don't care. Just move out of my, move out of my way. 
Ah, oh, finally. Big creature. Alright. Um, man. I feel like that. I feel like we've made a significant amount of progress, people. Let me, um... Oh, alright. That seems like a decent place to save the game. Excellent. All right. So there you have it, people. Once again, thank you guys for watching. As always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys are enjoying this series. And I will continue to progress through this series for you guys. That uh, Solomon Shrine is... that. Whoever said uh, it was a labyrinth or whatever, they were not kidding. This place is a straight up maze. But we talked to the, um, remember that password, people, Micah. Um, next time when we come back, we're going to go to the other section, Mesa, the, the section of Mesa. Um, we should be able to go and give that man the password now. And then that will allow us to progress through there. And then I think we've only got like three more priest sections to go through because we've already done uh, Dark Fact, or Fact, Gemma, and Mesa. So we just have to do the other three, Dabby, Tova, and I think one other one, and then uh, we should be all right. But let me know in the comment section down below um, any suggestions or tips that you guys have for me as I continue to progress through. Any items that you guys feel like I should be using that would make it easier for me as I navigate through this labyrinth. And I will be sure to do that for you guys um, in these videos. Cool. If nothing else, I will see you guys next time.